So what is a Facebook page and why do we need it to run ads? A Facebook page is a page that can be found inside of your Facebook profile and the Facebook page is used to run ads. When a viewer will see your ad, he is actually being directed to your Facebook page and not to your Facebook profile. Therefore, your Facebook page needs to showcase your product, your niche, your website or whatever it is that you're trying to promote. So let's begin. Log into your Facebook profile and on the top click on the plus, the create button and then go down and click on page. Now the first thing that you need to do is give your page a name. So you're going to call it by your business name, by your website's name. In my case, it's doggy dog club. Next in the category type E so you can find the e-commerce website. So this is the category that you're going to choose. You can also go with products and service, for example, but I think that e-commerce website is more fitting to what we're actually doing here. Next, you can write a little description. Your one stop shop for all dog lovers and then go ahead and click on create page okay now that facebook created the basic part of our page now let's go on ahead and start optimizing it to make it a real facebook page so that our audience can start coming in organically and so that we can also start running our ads here so the next step after setting up your page's name the category that it belongs to and a short description we are going to move on to the images and in the images we are referring to the cover image that you can see over here and the profile image. So first things first, you have to take care of the profile picture and you already have a profile picture which you created using Hatchful. So click on add profile picture, go to the destination where you save that Hatchful folder and now find the file called Facebook profile image, which is right here. So I'm going to click that and there we go. You have a unique profile picture, a unique logo, which only you have which cost you zero dollars and it looks professional. For the cover photo, you can search those stock photo websites that I mentioned a few lessons ago. You can find them once again in the resources PDF that you have for this course. So you can either use those stock photo websites to search up a new cover image or use the same cover image that you have on your website, which is what I will do in this case. And here we go, we have the cover photo. You can drag it here if you want to reposition, just put it a little bit more in the center. And don't forget that if you're using those stock photo image websites, just search up the niche or product or brand that you're trying to promote and find an image that looks relevant and connected to what you're trying to showcase. So we have the cover photo, we have the logo, everything looks good up until now. Go ahead and click on save. And here we go, we have our brand new page, Doggy Dog Club. You can continue optimizing it by adding, for example, a call to action button. So if you click on that, you can have a call to action button and direct people straight to your website. For example, go with shop now, write down your domain, click on save. And now there's a call to action button on your page. There's a shop now. So if someone clicks on it, they'll be taken directly to your website. Next, you can create a username for your page. When you have a username, you can simply direct people to your page in a much faster way. It needs to be unique. Nobody else can have this username. So just think of something unique because I'm pretty sure that doggy dog club is not going to be available. Let's see. Nope, it's not available. So once again, think of something unique like doggy dog lovers unite. I know it's long, but once again, you need something unique. So go ahead and think of a unique username, add it to your page and continue optimizing your page. You can see what kind of tips Facebook gives you to continue optimizing your page. But what I do want to encourage you guys to do, if you have the extra time, is to start creating posts so that your page will look alive, it will look active. And this way you're also going to get some organic traffic to your store and already start to get the ball rolling. So in my example, I can create a post by uploading a picture of a dog and writing a funny sentence or something that will simply connect the viewers dog lovers to what we're doing here create a post once a day or once every two days you can even create posts and schedule them to upload at a later date so for example start sunday or monday morning by creating 10 posts and schedule them for the whole week up ahead so on one hand you're getting organic traffic and on the other hand you can run your ads through this page and your assignment for this lesson if it wasn't obvious enough is to create your facebook page add all of the relevant information and images create a few posts, optimize everything that you can to make it look good. And I'll see you in the next lesson where you are going to create your Facebook ads account. Good luck with your Facebook page and I'll see you in the next lesson.